Welcome to the Electrical Safety Training System, or ESTS, for non-electrical workers. This course is designed specifically for non-electrical workers who work with electrical equipment. Completing this course will provide the knowledge you need to recognize and avoid electrical hazards so you can keep yourself and others safe. This training course is designed to inform you about the potential hazards and risks associated with using energized electrical equipment, as well as how to protect yourself from being exposed to them. Electricity is all around you. It provides power to your TV at home, runs your computer at work, makes motors turn, and fuels freezers at the grocery store where you shop. In fact, it's hard to imagine any place that isn't powered by electricity. For all the good that comes from having multiple sources of electricity at our fingertips, it's easy to forget electricity can be harmful to us. For this reason, we want you to understand the potential risks that come with using energized electrical equipment and how you can help reduce the risk of an incident involving your use of electricity. We can compare water to electricity. For our analogy, voltage is equivalent to water pressure, while water flow represents the flow of electrons, or current. Water experiences resistance as it flows through piping in the same way electrons experience resistance in copper wire. We open or close valves to control water flow, just as we open or close circuit breakers or disconnect switches to control the flow of electrical current. There are two hazards that a qualified electrical worker may be exposed to when working on energized electrical equipment, shock and arc flash. Electric shock is caused by a release of electrical energy that happens when approaching or coming into contact with exposed energized electrical conductors or circuit parts. Shock is more common than arc flash. It presents a higher risk of exposure for all workers, including you. An electrical arc flash happens when there is an arcing fault between two electrical conductors or circuit parts and the arcing is sustained. An arc flash may result and can be accompanied by arc flash blast pressure. This is a pressure wave from the arcing fault source that can project molten metal and shrapnel. Toxic gases from copper vaporizing are released from an arc flash, and intense noise is created by the arc flash blast.